Without a long-term strategy, short-term achievements are impossible. This has been proven in the course of carrying out a number of key national and regional strategies. Developing the West, revitalizing the Northeast, upgrading central China, bringing into full play the leading role of the East, coordinating nationwide common progress. Traditional boundaries are being overcome and administrative barriers dismantled. In September 2016, a plan was published for developing the Yangtze River Economic Belt. It envisages broad cooperation involving nine provinces and two municipalities along the Yangtze, with a population of 600 million. This is now one of the regions with the greatest potential for economic growth in China and the world. The Yangtze River Finless Porpoise even fewer in number than the giant panda. The size of the porpoise population has become a key indicator of the ecological state of the Yangtze River. The finless porpoises undertake a regular migration across five provinces, Jiangxi, Hubei, Hunan, Anhui, and Jiangsu. If they were to stay and breed in one place for too long, they risk illness and death. The decline in the finless porpoise population has slowed in the past two years. It's a sign that the water in the Yangtze is improving. Meanwhile, forest coverage in the Yangtze River economic belt has increased to 41.5%, 20 percentage points above the national average. Throughout the area, coordinated action is being taken to protect the eco-environment. The results are captured by Li Wei's camera. In the past, different sections of the Yangtze were under separate management. This system is now undergoing change. The three provinces of Hunan, Hubei and Jiangxi have opened a joint navigation route, along which the ship makes four return journeys a week. The planned allocation of industrial production has created new space for sustained growth throughout the Yangtze River economic belt. Large numbers of enterprises have begun to move upstream from the Yangtze River Delta. This production base was built in Wuhan by a Shanghai auto manufacturer. The vehicles it produces will be sold along the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. This roll-on, roll-off dock was built two years ago. The ship's four decks can hold a thousand vehicles. Moving the production base upstream reduces transport costs by being closer to the market. The Yangtze River economic belt is being linked up. A consultation and cooperation mechanism has now been established by the 11 provinces and municipalities along the Yangtze. Thank you.